Okay. Now, when we're rounding numbers, the first thing we need to do is we need to find out what number we're rounding to. Now, this says rounding to the thousands. Which number is in the thousands place? Hmm. Darian. The one. So my, my first step is going to be, I'm going to underline, step one, underline the number we are rounding to. We are rounding to, okay? Because we're rounding to the thousands place. Then, what I need to do is, step two is look at the digit directly to the right of the underlined number, okay? So we need to, step two, look at the digit to the right of the underlined digit. Okay. What is that number to the right of the underlined digit? Hmm. David. Um, seven? It's a, not a seven. A six? It's a six. Here's the underlined one. Just to the right of it is a six. Now, here's where it gets tricky. If the number, if that number is zero to four, okay, the underlined number stays the same. underlying number stays the same. And guess what all these other numbers become? They become what? Zeros. They become zeros, yeah. All others become oops. All others are zeros. What happens if this number is five or more. So if that number is five to nine, what happens to the underlying number? Hmm. Yeah, the underlying number goes up one. The underlined digit goes up one. And all others are zeros. others are zero. Okay? So, I have 1,674 and I am going to round to the nearest thousands place. I underlined my number in the thousands place. Then I looked at the number directly to the right of it. It's a six. Does that mean I'm going to move my thousand up one or is it going to stay the same? I'm going to move it up one. What's my new number going to be? 
2,000 because this underlying digit goes up one and all these others become zero.